So this week, folks, we've got the partial release of some of the people on Jeffrey Epstein's client list. Although it is important to keep in mind that this is just a list of his associates. It doesn't mean that everybody on that list is somebody that was involved with what Epstein was doing. Nevertheless, two names appeared on that list and they happen to be two former presidents of the United States, both Bill Clinton and Donald Trump. Uh, neither man, by the way, again, for legal purposes, got to point this out. Neither of them was actually accused of, uh, 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 any kind of criminal activity, I guess we should say. Although it was mentioned worth noting that president Bill Clinton was said to prefer his women on the younger side that was mentioned in the document. So I'm mentioning it here again. He was not accused of any actual criminal wrongdoing. Trying to check all those legal boxes. <laughs> Definitely don't want to get in trouble for saying anything incorrect, but here is something that is also very interesting about this Epstein list. The day it was released this week, you also had Jeffrey Epstein's younger brother, Mark Epstein, who made this comment to the media, which I felt was fairly newsworthy. He said, and this was a conversation he had with his brother. He said, here's a direct quote. If I said what I know about both candidates, they'd have to cancel the election. That's what Jeffrey told me in 2016. 2016, of course, was the contest between Donald Trump on the Republican side and Hillary Clinton on the Democratic side. Now I'm willing to bet Jeffrey Epstein probably didn't actually have dirt on Hillary Clinton. Um, kinda, kinda just seems counterintuitive that Hillary Clinton would be joined at the hip with Jeffrey Epstein unless whatever dirt he may have had on her didn't have anything to do with what was going on on that Island. However, this is a pretty bold statement. Now, Mark Epstein, of course, refused to expand upon that statement any further. He did not divulge any information that his brother may have told him about either Trump or the Clinton family, but that kind of seems important, right? I mean, obviously Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton are done, hopefully running for office. So we don't really have to deal with political ramifications from those folks. On the other hand, Donald Trump is the Republican front runner right now. And is there information of his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein that the voters need to know about? I mean, let's forget the courts for a minute. I do think the courts need to know about this, but in a lot of these instances, right, the statute of limitations has expired. So we really are, are not going to get any kind of, uh, uh, you know, legal ramifications for this stuff, but the voters on the other hand can still hold these people accountable. Now, Mark, the Epstein brother did not even say if his brother told him these things that he has this dirt that he has on these high level politicians. But if he has this information kind of seems like the type of thing you need to come forward with, right? This is information. It doesn't matter if it's on Trump or if it is on the Clinton family that is relevant to where the United States of America is right now. If we had former presidents and future presidents at the time, Donald Trump engaging in activities with underage girls, the public needs to be aware about that. The public needs to know these kinds of things. And that's why the release of this list is so important. But as usual, you got to take it, you know, one step at a time. You cannot get mired in whether or not everybody on that list did in fact engage in activities with underage girls. Um, you know, it's a case by case basis. Some people just kind of there, right? Others definitely did it. And those people need to be exposed. And if it's former presidents of the United States that have to be exposed, regardless of party affiliation, then so be it. But if Mark Epstein has this kind of information, now's the time to tell the public. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena. And Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to Fair and Balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down. Subscribe today.